ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the beautiful and stunning Southern Spain and the brand new Lexus ES. Relatively unknown in Europe, but this is one of the most important models for Lexus worldwide. It gracefully replaces the beautiful GS, which is a bit of a shame, but we've got some healthy and nice competition, you German limousines, but can it live up to our expectations? Well, we're going to have a little chat, aren't we? with me today is Luxury Line, top of the range, well surprise, surprise, 300H, H stands for hybrid. Now this is the only ES model available in Europe and just like Toyota, Lexus is very proud of its hybrid system and rightfully so, they should be and this is probably the perfect time to enter Europe with the ES and hybrid because Europe and European Union is going all bananas with diesels, getting very stroppy with emissions but let's not get political. Um, this is a place for fluffing good things in life. But finally the Japanese samurai has got the opportunity to grab a larger piece of the European cake. After all they've got the big American pie, the Americans even have the V6, well but we've got to be satisfied with what we've got today. satisfied. We've got 2.5 litre petrol engine, four cylinder combined with electric motor and that gives us 215 horsepower. 0 to 100, 0 to 60 is 8.9 seconds. Now let's put our foot down, put this baby to sport and have a little bit of fun on those curvy Spanish roads. Has it got any punch? Well, it does have a nice kick to it, but let's not get carried away. After all, the maximum speed is limited to 180 kilometers an hour. Well, if your heart desires going fast on German autobahns, forget it, this isn't a car for you. Because this particular engine is perfect if you live in a crowded, dirty, smelly city. It is also perfect for long distance cruising. And what about the cabin of the new ES? Well, the quality of the materials, the finishing is just stunning. I love the steering wheel, especially Ugh, this combination of dark wood and silver. Beautiful. The seats, soft, lush, perfect for long distance cruising. I absolutely, the cabin is just feels so good. It's well designed, well finished. And then there is this one bad thing, and that is the old infotainment system that Lexus has kindly left behind. Well, let me just put it this way the old system is a little bit um, slow, <laughs> it's non intuitive. The graphics, oh dear. <laughs> Not ideal, but Lexus has acknowledged that this system needs an update and promises that in a very near future we are about to see something big, something much, much better. But for today, we're just going to have to live with it, get over ourselves, it's been said out loud, um, and let's stop complaining, it's unattractive. Let's enjoy other things that Lexus ES offers. And why perfect? Well, because it is very quiet, chilled and relaxed. When you put your foot down, there is not much rattle and noise coming through at all. Just a little bit of that murmur to get you going. The suspension is soft, it is fluffy, absorbs most of the bumps and imperfections. Just what you would expect from a car of this nature. Now, this is a front wheel drive mm, Lexus. Mm. Preferred this to be rear wheel drive, but never mind. But here's an interesting fact they've done a study in Germany, I believe that was in Germany with BMW dealers. They've asked pretty much customers of BMW if they think their car is rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. And guess what? Well, majority of them said, Well, my car is uh, front wheel drive. There you go. So it just shows you. It doesn't really matter these days because some of us are clueless and there's nothing wrong with that. Now on to steering. What do you think? Actually it's got some weight to it, especially if you put it to sport. It's nice, I wouldn't say heavy, but heavy for this kind of a car. It's not something exactly you would expect changes its character altogether in sport mode. 
I like it. I like it. What about the gear change? Well, essentially, it is non-existent. You could see my tape. Excuse me. I'm trying to tape the microphone, but it keeps sticking off. The gearing is smooth, it is seamless. In sport, of course, it becomes a lot more respond responsive and more dynamic. Or adds to your foot much quicker. Oh yes, very good. The visibility in this car is very good, including the rear window. There's nothing obstructing your view here. Petrol consumption, well, I never like to speak about petrol consumption when I've got the car for only a couple of hours. So once the opportunity arises to drive this vehicle for a little bit longer than a couple of hours, I shall give you my judgment. And I will actually, this is really first impressions because I've literally driven this car for a couple of hours. What do I think about it so far? Well, I think it's such a stunning car. Believe it or not, sedans or saloons as we call them in Switzerland are considered cars for old men. Well, I completely disagree. This car carries so much elegance, sophistication and class. You feel just a little bit different than driving a car, for example, of a German car maker, which I also like, but there's something special about Lexus. And I've got a really a soft spot for Lexus and I have no problem with it at all. So overall, a beautiful car to drive, a beautiful car to do long distance cruising, but I would love to try the ES with the V6. I must come to America, I suppose. And I think that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, this is, as I said, just first impressions, um, testing, trying, seeing how I feel. And I feel, well, I feel very good. Excuse my microphone type. Well, everything is falling apart at the end of the day. Never mind. I hope you have enjoyed this short video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to Rent Magazine for bringing me here. I'll put the link to the magazine down in the description below so you can have a little sweet read. I promise it's worth it. As always, I look forward to your comments and your questions and I shall see you all very, very soon. 